Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. If you haven't done so already, guys, hit a like on this video and sub to the channel. It's free, guys. You might as well hit that sub button. But today's video, we will be talking about five classic physique athletes that I feel like aren't getting talked about too much right now. I know the title says five classic physique guys that could be Chris Bumstead. And I mean, they could, guys. I mean, everyone is beatable. And Classic Physique could arguably one of the most competitive divisions right now. But we're actually going to do these guys, I guess, in the order of popularity that they have. So the first guy we're going to talk about today is actually Logan Franklin, the Texas Oak. The 2021 Arnold Classic Best Poser. You know, he placed second at the Texas Pro runner-up to Robert Timms, who brought an incredible package. And Logan was unable to qualify for last year as Mr. Olympia. And when Logan did compete in the 2020 Mr. Olympia, he placed ninth. But Logan has made so many improvements since then. He placed third at the 2021 Arnold Classic, like I said, and well, won the Best Poser Award. He won that award over Terrence Ruffin, who is, you know, seen as the best poser in the sport. But Logan Franklin is definitely right up there with him, which is something that I mentioned numerous times. And Arnold, pro and, uh, <laughs> Arnold, but Logan probably has the most similar physique to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Out of all of the current competitors, Wesley Vistas also is pretty close, but I still think he has a little work to do before he's at the level that Logan is. But let me know in the comment section below, guys. How do you guys feel about Logan, frankly? You know, do you guys feel like he's a top guy in the sport? Logan actually won the Sean Ray Hawaiian Classic, so he is already qualified for the 2022 Mr. Olympia. And I'm very excited to see the package that he's going to bring. You know, he's another guy that works with Milos. So he's definitely going to come in condition, and Logan is, of course, a master poser. So I'm definitely excited to see the routines that he's going to bring to the stage this year as well. Now, if Logan was in this 2022 Arnold Classic, guys, I'm pretty sure he probably would have been fighting with Ramon Dino for second. That's just my personal take on that, guys. And I've actually done a comparison of Logan Franklin to Ramon Dino on the channel. So if you guys haven't seen that, check that out. But Logan is one of my favorite athletes in the classic physique division. You know, I'm a guy that's really big on posing. And Terrence, Logan, Breon Ainsley, Chris Bumstead, probably the best posers in the classic physique division. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. How do you guys think Logan Franklin is going to do with this 2022 Arnold Classic? And the next guy we're going to talk about is Alex Combranero. Now, I feel like a lot of people have forgot about Alex. Alex placed sixth at this past year's Mr. Olympia. He was beat out by Erez Kalasinski and Ramon Dino. But Alex is usually a guy that's right behind Breon. You know, him and Breon are usually pretty close. Alex also placed second at the 2021 Arnold Classic to Terrence Ruffin. But in 2020, he beat Terrence at the Arnold Classic. So I feel like this is a guy that doesn't really get talked about a lot. And I arguably think he could have placed higher than sixth at the Mr. Olympia. Now, Alex did win the Hurricane Pro. It was a smaller show after the Olympia. So he is already already qualified for the 2022 Mr. Olympia. But, guys, keep Alex on your radar. He's an amazing athlete. And I'm pretty sure he's going to come back this year, guys. He's going to shock some people, and he's going to be in that top call out. Now, the next guy we're going to talk about is going to be Mike Summerfield. Now, I've mentioned Mike on the channel numerous times, and Mike has actually commented on one of my videos, so huge shout out to him. But Mike actually placed seventh at this past year as Mr. Olympia. And as I've stated, that was Urs Kalasinski's first time beating Mike Summerfield, you know. Mike Summerfield is also from Germany, as Urs is, and they have competed at least three to four times against each other, to my knowledge. And even the even in 2021, to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, Mike beat Erez Kalasinski at the Extreme Pro. So going into this season, I'm definitely very excited to see the package that he brings. I've honestly done a comparison of Mike versus Chris Bumstead, and he stacks up to Bumstead very, very well. All Mike needs to do is improve more from the back. But as always, guys, let me know your thoughts on Mike Summerfield. And the next guy we're going to talk about is Courage Opara. This is one of my favorite athletes in the Classic Physique division, guys. Courage placed fourth at the Arnold Classic 2021 behind Logan Franklin, and he actually placed 15th at the Mr. Olympia somehow, guys. I have no idea how this is the 15th place physique. This guy honestly isn't missing anything, and he definitely has those huge quads that the Classic Physique division seems to favor. This is... An incredible physique, guys, and after seeing him place fourth at the Arnold Classic going into the Mr. Olympia, you know, I was pretty sure he could be one of those top guys. I actually may have to do a comparison with him to some of these guys because look at this side chest, guys. Who is beating this? 
This is an incredible side chest. This is a top competitive side chest in the classic physique division. In his front double bicep, he could use a little more arm, a little more lat. But definitely in the quad department, he can beat a lot of guys. And the way classic physique judging has been going, doesn't seem like they care too much about arms. But that's a whole nother subject. Courage O'Para, very excited to see what he brings to the stage this year. And the last guy we're going to talk about is one of the great Brazilian athletes, Gabriel Zancanelli. He actually did not place at the Mr. Olympia at all, which just shows you guys how stacked the competition is in the classic physique division. Because this is an incredible physique, and he didn't even place, guys. But following the Mr. Olympia, he actually did the muscle contest Brazil, where he placed second to Ramon Dino. Now, Ian Valier, who was a top IFBB pro, he said that Zancanelli actually pushed Ramon, and he said he felt like it was pretty close. Now, Zancanelli turned pro at the Arnold Classic Brazil, I guess the amateur Arnold Brazil, which was in 2019. In 2021, he won a Puerto Rico Pro, which qualified him for the Mr. Olympia, where he placed 16th. But as you can see, guys, this guy is pretty good everywhere. He's pretty balanced overall. Great arms, great legs, great hamstring, glute tie-in, guys. This guy has the potential to be very, very good. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video, man. I'm very excited to see all of these athletes on stage, specifically Zan Canelli and Courage Opara. You know, a lot of the other guys are, you know, pretty much at the top, so to say, already in the top call outs. But I'm very excited to see those two guys, especially uh, Courage. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do you guys think he should be placing higher than what he is? Because the guy has an incredible physique. And also, Zan Canelli, once he adds a little more muscle to his back, he's going to be up there at the top two, guys. But as always, like the video, sub to the channel, guys. It's free. I'm out.